What's up guys? Thanks for coming back for some more Life of Bliss. Uh, today we're going to finish framing this bedroom. Then all we have left to do is the closet area right here and the bathroom, as well as framing in our office over there. I got a week off. Hopefully we should be able to get all that done. Uh, we'll see how this week goes, so check it out. So I don't know how I did this, but apparently I did not measure out for my rooms as far as my base plates and top plates. So got to make a quick run of Menards, grab a few base plates, and uh, we'll get back to it back there. Hi. Hey, sweetheart. I what been, did you do today? I have been working my butt off today. A uh, what? So we got our wall finished off here in the bedroom. We got our half wall done. So now we are going to start off doing the closet and closing off our bathroom over here. There we go, so that should give me enough room to make the wall, lay it up against the pipe here. Top and bottom plate have cutouts because the top plate has to go around it up there. And the wall should fit up snug up against it. So we just got the bathroom finished. Got our doorway here. 
We just cut out the bottom plate after we put the wall up. We've got a storage area where we're gonna put some towels and uh, toiletry supplies. Our sink's gonna go here. Toilet and shower back in the corner. Got our closet all framed in. Now the only thing left to do is frame in our office over there. All right, we're gonna get ready and start framing the, in the office. I'm gonna take this vent and actually move it back one section there of the uh, vent tubing because I'm gonna put a fan in the middle of that room. And right now the vent is right in the middle of the room. All right, got the nails out. Let's uh, let's try that again, but do it right this time. done this wall gave me a little bit of trouble but we got it up still have to cut down a two by to put in between here for the corner for the sheetrock to be able to uh, screw into something but we got our 48 inch doorway for a double French door the last thing I have to do with framing besides cleaning up a few things is frame in a closet over here in the office and we will be done all right so the last thing we need to do for this wall back here along the fireplace was to fill in all of these cracks with some expanding foam to make sure that there is no moisture or airflow coming through from that concrete wall. Let's uh, go ahead and get to cracking. We got all the framing done besides just a few things. We got our office way done here. Office area. Got a little closet in there. Come across the basement. Put our bathroom and closet in for the back bedroom. And then we finished our bar top area here. So we'll have cabinets on either side of the bar, a little walkway and a refrigerator back in that recessed area, which I'll frame in once we uh, clear some stuff out before the sheet rocker gets here. So now we move on to electrical. OK, 
Okay, next phase we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting in some can lights in the ceiling. Got some six inch can light for the main areas, some four inch can lights for the office. We're gonna put a few in there and then back in the bar. Let's get started on that. And first casualty of the day, when working with metal, probably should wear gloves. I might have cut myself. I don't think I need a band-aid. I've gone through like five bulbs doing this down here. So we got our lights in, all the six inch lights in for our main area here and in front of our fireplace. So it's gonna be quite a bit of light down here. I think we're gonna be able to see. Gonna call it quits for today. I feel like I got a ton accomplished this week. Got the rest of my framing done, got my office closed in, got my lights started finished off the wall with the insulation so all this next week here I'm gonna try to run all the wires for the uh, the electrical and everything so hope you guys like the video give it a like subscribe and check back for more life of bliss <laughs>